Another thing that comes to mind is uh, playing very aggressive chords, a chord like this, harmonic, three harmonics, and a C on the bottom, a regular C. Uh, it's very effective sometimes to actually strum that chord quite violently. Thank you. 
So, um, to talk a little bit about right hand technique, um, <clears throat> I found that it's quite an advantage to, w when you're playing a, an ascending line, to try and hit the first note on the next string up with this finger. Uh, uh, I've numbered the fingers uh, one, two, three, and this second finger is slightly longer for most people than, than the others. So I always try and hit the first note on a string that I'm going up to with that number two finger. Uh, a simple example is uh, playing the first three notes of a C major scale, uh, the C and the D on the E string, and the E on the A string. So it's like that. And then with the right hand, I'll go one, three, two. So it's quite a clean, a clean approach. And to make that exercise more interesting, you can apply it to a bass line such as uh, which, if anybody's old enough, they might remember that one. Um, going back to the C major scale, to go further up the scale, up to the, uh, up to the G, where you've got two notes on the first string and three notes on the second string, I would go one, three, two, one, three, one, three, two, one, three. And going up to the next string, uh, going up to the sixth, which is an A on the D string, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two. So playing the whole scale, to take another example of, um, say, an E minor scale, where you've got three notes on the A string, three notes on the D string, uh, two notes on the G string, uh, the right hand would be two, one, three, two, one, three, two. 